This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we will be uh, starting the next topic, production order release. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see what is production order release, overview of production order release, what is production order release, how to release a production order, okay. different methods of releasing the production order, we will see. Then use of production scheduling profile. So these are the topics we will be covering in the production order release. Okay. Once it has been established that all required resources are available for production, the production orders can and must be released for production. So normally what happens is once you ensure everything is available like your input materials okay, and your machines and once you ensure that all, all are available for production, normally what they do is they release the production order. Okay, they release the production order. Production order release is the basis for further processing of the production order. So normally production order release is mandatory. Without releasing the production order, system does not allow you to carry out the subsequent activities in the cycle. Okay, so suppose if you see, we discussed in our flow, First, our step is production order creation. Production order creation. After the production order creation, what is the next? Material availability check. Availability check. Okay. After that, the, the one which we are discussing today is the release. Production order release. Release. So, if you do not release the order, if you do not release the order, system will not allow you to do subsequent activities. Suppose if you see here, we are here, okay. We created the production order, production order creation. After that, because we're doing the production order creation, scheduling and capacity planning will happen. This we will discuss in a separate class, separate session. Then we do the availability checks. We did the availability checks. Once all are, all are available, then they will release the production order. If you release the production order, then only system will allow the subsequent steps like printing of shop floor papers, goods issues, okay, uh, then processing, confirmation, GR, and settlement. All these activities are allowed only if you release the production order, okay. If you do not release the production order, then system will not allow you to do these activities. The subsequent steps it will not, okay. So release is mandatory. Release is mandatory. Okay, so I will show you this. Suppose if I go to our system. Okay, so uh, let us go to our material. Okay, so we have this production order, correct? So if you take this production order, it is a it is in created mode okay suppose if i go to co03 co03 if i enter order this order as of now in created mode it is not yet released so as it is not yet released suppose if i try to do subsequent steps suppose let's say if i want to do goods issue okay we go which we will discuss in the next class okay so if i try to do goods issue select goods issue order okay if i enter the order number okay the moment i enter see you are getting an error message at the bottom current order status does not allow goods withdrawal the reason is the reason is this order is not yet released so order release is prerequisite to carry out the subsequent activities with the production order cycle okay so that is the importance of the production order release okay now Production orders can be released manually or automatically. This I will show it in the system. Okay, there are there are a lot of methods. There are many methods to release a production order. You can release an individual operation, a whole order, or several orders together. That option is also possible. Okay, uh, you can release a single order, single order, or you can release multiple orders together. That also possible. 
or you can release a operation wise also that is also possible we will discuss all those things okay when a product when the production order is released the order status is updated with rel released rel so once you release a production order the status gets changed to rel we will see this in the system okay you know we will see the different methods of releasing the production order. okay so the different methods are production order release first one is first normal method is manual manual next one is automatic we will cover both automatic automatic so in the manual you can release one order full order with entire order okay next one is you can release operation wise okay i will show you this operation wise next one is you can release multiple orders collective release basically collective release these many options are there. these are in the manual okay so first we'll start with the manual okay to release a production order observe carefully so this is our md0 screenshot okay so i'll take a screenshot of this okay so let's try to release this order manual okay so what you need to do is you need to go to order in the change mode go to order in the change mode Go to order in the change mode production order change you need to go to order in the change mode co02 co02 go to order in the change mode you click on this button you need to click on this button there is a flag button release order current status is crgd and you need to click on this flag button okay so when you release at header level this is called header level release whole order release so when you release the order all the operations if you go to operations operations also having the status crtd all the operations also will get released immediately okay so now go back i am at the header now just release the order release order click on the flag button see order status is updated with released and at the bottom you got a message release carried out and if you go to operations you see three operations are released okay now again go to header now you save it when you save it order will get released of course it's already released save it but that's okay so order is saved so now if you go to md04 screen if you go to md04 screen observe carefully for that order for that order which we just released you will get a text of re here so suppose currently it is showing here it is showing like this correct now if i refresh the md04 screen see the the order which we just released it got a text of re text of re okay whereas other orders are not at released so by looking at here you have to tell you should be in a position to tell whether the order is released or not normally most of the people what they do without knowing this one they will still to check the order is released or not they will go inside the order from the md04 screen not required by looking at this text you can tell whether it is released or not so that level of expertise you should have as a consultant okay so this order is already released the released order will have this text okay so that is whole order release that means you release the order entire entirely once that is it is called it is called as header level release basically header level release header level release okay next one you have the option of operation wise release also okay in some companies very rarely they will do operation wise release also okay so let me show that we'll now let let's take another order let me take this order okay so go to the order in the change mode okay so instead of releasing at header level you can do operation wise release so go to operations 
here you see we have three operations so now you can release operation based also i'll tell you in which scenario it is used suppose if you see here we have three operations empty bottle cleaning filling packing so now for empty bottle cleaning you know you need only empty bottles that's all you don't need solution or you don't need the lids okay suppose let's say the lids are not available so they wanted to start production but lids are not available then so then the production manager will say okay lids are on the way we, uh, vendor is going to supply lids in the meantime caps but in the meantime you just start the cleaning activity don't wait for the lids because this activity doesn't require the solution or the or the caps lids so they want to start the production but normally the setting will be without material availability normally system will not allow you to release the water at header level so now what they do is to carry out this activity they release operation base so, so they select this operation here you see there is a button release operation they click on that button see that operation is only released so now if you go to a header if you go to header see at the header level now the status is PREL partially released partially released now save it so this is called partial release okay so let us check when it is here now see once you release partially also here yeah, the status will get updated as array okay now later on let's release the next operation after some time they release they release a second operation second operation is released still at header level it will be partially released only save it now after a certain time they want to release the last operation go to operations they will release the last one click on fly button so now as all the operations are released as all the operations are released at header level at header now the status is REL released. Now save it. Yes. So now you can release operation wise also. That's what right. this one operation wise. So that option is also available. Now the next one is collective release. Collective release means you release all the orders at once. So instead of normally instead of going to each order, double clicking on here, go to change mode. And clicking on this flag button instead of doing all these things they will release the orders all the orders at once at once okay collective processing mass processing mass processing okay this we covered already for creation now what we will see for release so what i will do i'll open one more session okay so go to COHV go to COH mass processing production orders. Okay, enter your material here. What is the material? This is a material. Okay, enter you enter your product. Okay, enter the plant 1710. Now, what I will do, I'll select only the orders with created state CRTD status CRTD status CRTD okay only with status crtd select that go to mass processing tab okay here function select click on the drop down select release release okay select release now just execute see now these are the orders which are not at released you can see the order status here system status okay so now we will release all this one two three four orders at once so click on the select button select all button go to mass processing exhibit now it will release all the orders to be done executed so now if you go to the if you go to the md04 screen all orders will be released see all orders got released so this is mass processing collective release coh coh Okay, so instead of delete, instead of releasing one by one, you can release together. Okay, so these are all basically manual. We are doing it manual. Okay, now the other option is automatic, automatic release. That is through production scheduling profile. Okay, production scheduling profile. We will discuss this production scheduling profile. So in the production scheduling profile, what happens is when you create the order. 
रिलीज ड्यूरिंग क्रिएशन ओनली ओके सो ड्यूरिंग क्रिएशन इट सेल्फ यू विल रिलीज ऑर्डर ओके सो फॉर दिस यू विल बी यूजिंग प्रोडक्शन स्केड्यूलिंग प्रोफाइल प्रोडक्शन स्केड्यूलिंग प्रोफाइल यू विल बी यूजिंग प्रोडक्शन स्केड्यूलिंग प्रोफाइल we will be using this production scheduling profile okay i'll show you this for this you need to go to configuration okay let me go to con this is a interview question huh? in the interviews they will ask this question what is uh, how to release the production order automatically okay how you will configure this in the system so then you have to explain this production scheduling profile. okay so you need to go to configuration spro SAP reference IMG. Scroll down. Okay, scroll down. Go to production. Okay, go to shop floor control. Open this master data. Open this. Here you have define production scheduling profile. Open this. Okay, our plant is one seven one zero. Click on the button position. Go to one seven one zero. Okay, here you have a production scheduling profile. Select this, go to details. Here you see there is an option. In the automatic actions, you see on creation, there is a checkbox release. You need to activate this. So what we want to do here is during creation itself, I want to release the order. So activate this checkbox. So now save it. That's okay, continue. So now this production scheduling profile, you need to assign to the metal master. So you make the setting in the production scheduling profile. This you need to assign to the header material. Header material means the product which we are, which we are producing in the work scheduling view. In the material master, in the WS view, work scheduling view. I will show you that. Okay. So we made the setting in the production scheduling profile. Now this we need to assign to the material the main material the product which you are producing in the metal master so take this production scheduling profile okay let let's keep it as it is configuration so let's go to i will open one more session go to metal master mm02 okay this is our header material enter you need to go to work scheduling view this is the view. work scheduling view continue plant is 1710 continue here you see there is a field production scheduling profile click on the list the one which we made setting is this one in this one we made the setting assign it assign that profile save it done now let's create a new order okay co01 observe carefully the moment i create the order system will release it okay order type enter okay let's say i want to produce 100 select current data see the moment i enter it will get released see order automatically getting released no need to click on that flag button okay see and even at the bottom you you are getting a message release carried out so this is called automatic release now go to go to see to this batch save and then you save it yes that's it. order is saved so this is how you do the automatic release using the production scheduling profile so in the production scheduling profile in the production scheduling profile which i showed you in the automatic actions on creation you will have a release option this you need to activate it once activated this production scheduling profile normally is assigned to the metal master in the work scheduling that's what i showed then it will automatically release it okay so this is how the again that depends upon the settings that depends upon the settings we will come to that we will come to that okay in the later classes okay so that's a that's how the uh, automatic release will happen okay so once you release a production order you will you will have the subsequent activities basically the subsequent activities will take place okay this one, the one which we discussed so now we release the order then the subsequent activities will happen okay so this is all about your production order release